Good morning. Hope everyone is um, having a good morning so far. If you are up in these early morning hours or if you're reading this later, um, I hope you're having a blessed afternoon. And we're going to get started with another devotion from the lake. And this one is called Roasted Coffee Beans. Our scripture for this is centered on 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15, which says, For we are to God the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. All right, and then the devotional we will go into next. says certain foods carry specific scents that can transform or transport us to the memory or draw kids in from their play at dinner time. But freshly brewed coffee is something all its own. It has an aroma like a bouquet of unique scents blooming and melding into one delicious smell in the air. For the first person to wake up, the house is still. Shuffling in slippers to the kitchen, you notice the early morning light glowing through the window. The lake is still sleeping. This is a wonderful moment. You open up a new bag of coffee beans, pour them into the grinder, and arouse the world with the whirl of each bean blasting into tiny bits. Then as the coffee brews, its fragrance carries through the house pleasantly waking the rest of the family and drawing them in one by one to the kitchen. Family is meant to be a combination of persons, each with his or her own fragrance that brings a one-of-a-kind flavor to the blend. Through, or though a coffee roast aroma can distinguish a unique flavors from hints of caramel to cherry undertones, in the same way, when God surrounds us with the warmth of his love, causes aroma to arise, revealing the unique attributes of Christ in us and awaking the world to experience his glory today. Father, you brilliantly designed coffee beans to wake us up and bring us comfort. In the same way, help us to carry your sweet, bold aroma to each other and the rest of this world. Amen. Amen, amen. How true is that? When you brew that cup of coffee in the morning, that smell just fills the home and awakens those with the robust, yummy smells of coffee, if you like coffee. <laughs> um, but, you know, as you read this there's there's two kinds of fragrances in this world um that we can take on like in these um, verses two pairs of opposites are crafted so that the inner two elements are negative and the outer two are positive saved perishing death life the same scent produces different results those who receive the knowledge of christ through the good through the gospel message live Others perish. So when we take on Christ, when we are saved and we enter um, into being more like him and you wake up and you, you sit, you make your coffee, you get before the Lord. There's an aroma, a scent um, that covers us because we have chosen Christ. And we live in that, and uh, you take that aroma, since we're using that um, 
um, preference now with the like aroma of coffee because coffee is that smell is strong and um, we take that out into the world if you get up in the mornings and you're having that time with with the Lord that aroma is filling you from head to toe it's giving you um, strength through the day it's giving you um, a, a boldness that you can share that aroma you can share that your faith that light with others around you in the workplace um, at the school wherever it may be um, make sure you share that with the God has blessed you with that sweet aroma that only he can he can bring and that we can share and it can radiate off of us onto others okay, guys until next time I pray that you're uh, enjoying the morning readings and devotionals I'm trying to get back to doing them more again um, to share so I'm hoping you're enjoying them please share these out um, and should have another one tomorrow morning but I pray that your aroma of Christ spreads throughout the day until next time from our home to yours God bless you